and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we'll write a function that would sum the individual that gets in an integer. So let's begin. We are defining the function pretty much that's the, the first thing that we do for defining functions, which takes one parameter, one function argument. So here we would define another variable a which will convert which will convert the integer to a string then we define another integer b that checks for the length of the integer now converted to string this is very important in the in the way that if you enter something like there's a comment if you enter something like 100 it would detect it as having a length of three in order to know how many times we are removing uh the gets from it we so we have three the gets to add if another enters now we have four digits the length of four so that we know we are looping through it four times in order to remove all the digits and add them right okay so the next step is to get a temporal holder for the value of n the integer and now it's the loop for i in the range we are starting from one to the end of the integer okay so if it's two it goes for one now that's very important for the last part all right and now we are defining here we can before we we do this we can define another integer that is a sum which will hold the summation of the values so let's define that. So we have a variable called sums. We initiate it to zero. And now this is what we do with the sums. So sum. That is equal to the sums plus the h and 10 so for example if this a comment for example if i have it will divide it and the value that would this one will have one so it will add one to the zero then the next time it will add zero to the one then the final time it will add two to it so it is gradually taking all of them off okay the next step is h that is equal to the h then double uh this means that now what this means is that we have the h and we are dividing it and getting only the integer part so for example if 
if for example you have an h which was 25 the next time you divide 25 by 10 you are getting 2 instead of 2.5 okay so this make sure that when you divide it by 10 your h becomes 2 so by so doing you remove the 5 out and you have the 2 there okay because you have already dealt with the 5 with the modules okay so let's go on and after you're done there's a last h that is not summed so we take that one after we are done with all of them this one that is left there's always the last h because the sum comes before the removing so sums the last h and this is to do with the last one after that we return the sums okay so this is what we have now let's write the main method to do with calling this method and also requesting for user input so the main function main it takes no parameter here we have n that is equal to an input so what goes into the input you simply tell the user whatever they would need to enter so for example enter the integer but one thing is that whatever they enter into the console becomes a string so for example instead of having one two three as the input integer it will become a string which you cannot perform some kind of uh computation of it so what we do is that we convert the string to an integer so that the one two three that the enter becomes one two three an integer that you can add and subtract perform divisions and all kind so after getting the integer we are looking for we would call the method that is the sum that gets to deal with that so we'll print sum that gets and we pass in the n all right so this will return whatever the sum of the individual that gets are and here we call the main method in order to do the printing of in order to request for user input then print in the addition of the individual values right so thanks for your time this is the end of the lesson